Perfect. So I have a Django REST. I'm starting out a Django REST project, and uh, I would like to use uh, Swagger for my APIs, documenting my APIs. And uh, so you can see, this is uh, uh, pretty set up well. So you can see, I am quite there. And when I come to the API docs, it comes here. I just I would like to also mention that I have, uh, uh, you know, Markdown for Django REST, but uh, I also wanted to have um, uh, documentation done using uh, Swagger. So our setting up is pretty straightforward. So uh, there's this site, Django REST uh, Swagger. So just do a pip install. Uh, well, I'm already in my virtual environment, so I just already did this uh, and did this. So I just show you pretty quick. Uh, I already did that. I already did the install, so I won't be re I won't repeat it. So uh, then after that, uh, there is this. Uh, you know, you can use uh, get swagger view. You know, as a shortcut to get started pretty quick. So I did that already. So I just show you. I came here. Uh, you can see that right there. Uh, that's right there. So when I came here, instead of using uh, URL, I used a uh, path. Uh, and my path is already is already already uh, imported. So you can see that. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. So when I run this, uh, I got when I run my server and went to API docs, I got this error: static files is not registered tag library. There must be one of you know this list and you see right here pretty there's this static so uh, i did a quick search of this so i found this and there's this one guy who says a uh, load r uh, what did i use try load static instead of this so uh just pretty quick um so to do that i went in my uh, virtual environment followed this uh, where REST framework swagger is installed and then there is this index file so I just already opened that in my Visual Studio code so I pretty much changed it originally it was this and then I changed it to that so then uh, when I go here it works quite well uh, perfect so that's it um, pretty much straightforward